morning folk um, just going to talk you through my next project all being well if it works out might not uh, some years ago I used to make uh, bronze and steel mitre planes and this was the uh, body I made to have the castings made now this these two pieces of steel here were ones to attack ones were attached to a plane I made and sold to somebody and he had it 10 years or more and then one day he came came to me with a plane and said um, all the joints had blew up expanded and broken could I do anything with it and I said no because there won't be enough for painting uh, well he said I want to sell it now because of this problem I said well the only thing I can suggest is I'll buy it back off of you and in my own time take the sole off take all the infill out cut more depth into all the dovetails and put a new sole on this time in bronze it was a mammoth job because I'd got to get the infill out without damaging it and by altering the depth of the dovetails meant that when I put the infill back in the mouth was in a slightly uh, different position to the length of the plane fortunately I did adapt it and uh, turned out to be a stunning plane and it went to Guernsey the man has since died but his son's got it but anyway at a later date if this goes right I have got pictures uh, of the of the process from going from the steel base to the gunmetal or bronze base what I intend to do now is I don't want to waste this I've had it years and years a lot of work's been done but what I thought about doing now the last plane I made as I took a video of it and since sold it um, it was uh, straight sided not bent round the sole as I explained in the other video so I'm going to do a version of that so this will hopefully have bronze sides straight right angles at the corners and then I'm going to adapt a new infill and I've got the problem of these two big holes because originally the bronze went through there and peened over the other side but I can't do it now so what I have acquired over the years I've got two massive screws which if everything works out when I finish the plane uh, they'll look like rivets going through the bottom uh, and you probably hardly notice them that's my theory anyway uh, so I've, I've got to alter these dovetails because I want to apply the sides like that originally this went up into that and I talked about this on a previous video it'll make it stronger in my opinion if I cut the dovetails going like that so I've got to reshape all these but it's, at least it's a start um, I don't want to waste this so uh, I'll show you later on the progress I make if it works out it might not it might finish up as a load of rubbish but oh and um, this time if it again if it works out I've got this modern Norris lever cap which was made 
by the firm in the late years of Norris making and they weren't the same quality as a real uh, Norris but it's but it's decent enough what I hope to do is erase the name and put it in here and by coincidence it's almost an exact fit for the plane when I finished it I've had to already marginally deepen them to make it fit exactly but I, it was that we were only talking about very small pieces of metal so again if that works out it'll be a miracle but that's what I hope to do I'll let you know later on how I get on